Opulus is going to be a new platform for the NFT music industry and there's lots of good things coming up in terms of functionality like DeFi loans. Hi, this is Barry from NFT Music Info, hope you're all well. So today I wanted to talk about Opulus. Now Opulus has come from the Ditto music distribution service. Ditto has been going on for a long time and Lee's the CEO of it and He's been working in the background with his team to get Opulus off the ground, really. So Opulus is a decentralized finance service to the music industry, which is going to provide a launch pad for the first music copyright backed NFTs, as well as DeFi loans that will change how artists access the funding they need. Now, copyright backed NFTs is going to be really interesting. So I'll go into that a bit later. These NFTs are a new form of non-fungible tokens, which we know those are NFTs, offering buyers a share of a song's future royalty earnings. So if the artist wanted their fans to be royalty uh, copyright owners, they're able to do that for a certain percentage for a price, and then they'll be rewarded going forwards. This also includes exclusive rewards in exchange for social media support. Opulous peer-to-peer -peer DeFi loans cut out traditional banks middlemen and major labels allowing artists to access upfront cash based on the predictable royalties they generate over the year. So as a platform overview they're going to have the NFT launchpad, a marketplace and an exchange. Now it's very rare that you get all of that in one go. Uh, DeFi loans is going to be offered which is going to be backed by future royalties. I don't know what the application process will be on that yet but we'll have a look at that direct integration with 76 major music platforms so I would imagine that's things like Spotify etc a native token which will be the Opal token so that's coming soon liquidity pools and staking as well as trading NFTs on decentralized exchange so there's a lot of stuff going on there so the core features at the top we're going to have the launchpad the exchange and DeFi loans there's quite a few varied investors and partners as you can see here and they've got a bit of information about the tokenomics, which I won't go into because it's a bit technical. There's, there's so much for the team, so much for the liquidity pool, so much for private sales, etc. And there's going to be a lot of tech integration in order for all of this to happen and to work properly, such as the NFT tokens itself, smart contracts, um, Ethereum blockchain and other things as well. So this is a bit like their white paper. So Opulus brings decentralized finance to the music industry, which I've talked about. They're going to have a go to market strategy. So they've got the composition phase, which is launching a number of exclusive NFTs to begin with, with major artists that will really get the name out there before opening the NFT launchpad to all artists worldwide. So DIY musicians are going to have the opportunity to use this service, which I think is great. Then they're going to move on to the production phase where they'll implement the royalty payments and rewards to NFT holders and they'll also complete the development of the DeFi loan component, component and the NFT exchange. Then there's the last phase which is the resonance phase which is when Opulus will be introduced to thousands more artists and potential users worldwide via the vast network of partners and influencers. Opulus will also educate potential users on the platform's USPs, unique selling points, benefits and the processes necessary to engage with Opulus, while continuing to make the platform as accessible as possible for musicians, investors and all new users globally. So in terms of the product viability, and this really caught my eye here, this is a music industry first, this hasn't been done before. Um, there's a lot of competitors out there as we know there's so many NFT platforms currently and you can check some of those out in my other videos if you haven't already but as an example in terms of their USP their token will be used to receive special discounts across the platform token ho holders will get exclusive access to major NFT drops and Lee who I've talked about the CEO um, he'll be introducing the platform to over 500,000 musicians worldwide from launch and if you can see here you've got Opulus in the first column and you can see they're going to be doing copyright backed NFTs, fractionalized NFTs, direct royalty payments, exclusive fan rewards, split payments to multiple parties, NFT exchange, help to fund new musicians and then there's the whole DeFi component as well and all of that is what Opulus is going to be offering. However things like OpenSea they've only got an NFT exchange and help to fund new musicians. There's nothing else in terms of that and in terms of Rarible they've got the NFT exchange and that's it. BlockFi don't have a 
platform and they just use their states backed by loans um, and the same for compound as well but they also do the tokens as currency so as a usp it's going to be huge opulous so i really feel this is going to make quite a big difference to the music industry going forwards. If we have a look at the product roadmap now, you can see we're currently in Q2, coming up to Q3. So we've had the first official music NFT sale and SHO enlisting, royalty payment and rewards component launch, and the initial development of the NFT exchange. In Q4, they're going to be doing the DeFi component launch, and next year in Q1, they'll be doing the music NFT exchange launch. In terms of revenue streams, we'll be getting revenue from interest from lending pools and DeFi loans, sponsorships and brand deals, uncollected royalties from purchasers after five years. So if nobody claims those royalties, that'll go straight through to the company. Commission from all NFT launchpad sales, so there'll be a certain commission there for Opulus. A portion of the NFT launchpad transaction fees that will be included and transaction fees on the NFT exchange as well, which isn't uncommon. If we have a look at the product dive now, so the Launchpad is going to be launching music copyright backed NFTs. So this is going to give buyers a share in the music's future royalty earnings alongside exclusive rewards and fan experiences. These groundbreaking NFTs will generate monthly royalty revenues and increase in value as an artist's career progresses. So I do believe there'll be a lot of um, fans and investors out there who'll want to be part of this. Um, that won't only want to just receive royalty payments, but they'll also want to have the exclusive rewards such as backstage passes, gig tickets and merch, which fans are always interested in. And investors are interested in because investors are interested in that also because you know if the artist grows their fan base, that means that that merch has more value too. It goes on to say that NFT owners can track and withdraw their earnings directly from the Opulus account and they'll be tradable on the upcoming Opulus NFT exchange, which talking about will share a new economy based on music where anyone can buy and trade music copyright backed NFTs to earn a share of the royalties generated. This gives an example now, a music fan could find any unrated song they know is going to become more popular over time. They can buy it as an Opulous NFT, support an upcoming artist right from the start of their career and earn ever increasing rewards as the track becomes more valuable whilst gaining popularity. And the DeFi loan feature is going to be interesting as well because this is going to be a stable royalty income. Um, too many artists are turned away by traditional banks or forced into unfair deals with major labels but with Opulus however musicians can fund new projects with DeFi loans up to the value of the royalties they generate over 12 months. On the other side, investors can stake their crypto assets on the platform to generate high returns. Unlike most DeFi platforms, Opulus loans are always backed by predictable music assets vetted by the expert team, which greatly reduce risk on investment. And then it goes on to say about the technologies. We've got the senior team here, that's Lee there. And then we've got a team of advisors as well. And then we've got the investors and partners. In terms of the token itself, which will be called Opal, uh, this is how it will actually work. So you've got fans and investors at the bottom. They can go onto the launch pad and they can purchase and buy their NFTs to invest in songs and artists. And um, musicians will be able to mint and sell their music NFTs with future earnings embedded. Then also you've got the NFT exchange where royalties will be earned and you can also earn interest staking the NFTs and crypto. And then that will go through to the DeFi loans where you can stake crypto and NFTs in terms of fans and investors. And then musicians will be able to take DeFi loans backed by future royalties to fund new projects. Now there is a Telegram. I'll put the link in the description for that in terms of Opulus, but they've currently got over 10,000 members interested in this service. So I do think this is gonna be very big when it launches. Opulus has just raised six and a half million dollars as well um, to launch it officially. It goes on to say that British rapper Big Zoo and US artist Taylor Bennett each successfully sold a collection of 1% stakes in unreleased recordings via the blockchain. All 125 of these items sold out under 30 seconds with over 10,000 people trying to get into the sale. Also here it says that Lee has mentioned that we're delighted to work with Binance NFT to launch these exclusive NFT drops with some of the most exciting artists from all over the world. I've been passionate about the applications of crypto and blockchain technology within the music industry for many years and believe the launch of NFT drops like these will help to strengthen the connection between artists and their fans well into the future. 
And a lot of people believe that, you know, they really believe that NFTs is going to give this opportunity to fans and investors, but mainly to musicians to actually help them make a living from this. Whereas streaming services has actually mostly damaged it, in terms of my opinion. Also, um, looking at various websites such as CoinGecko, you can see their actual token is on here now, but it's as listed, but it's not actually live yet. So it um, be interesting to find out when they're actually going to launch that token. So there you have it. I hope you like this video. Please check out my other videos if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you are interested in finding out more and I'll speak to you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.